Sam Norris here. I wanted to uh, record a video which is going to talk about something I call the one hour a day social media strategy. Um, I, as many of you know, am a huge advocate of using social media for business purposes and I talk about it a lot, uh, whether it's on my property meets, uh, on social media itself, with friends, colleagues, clients, um, all I seem to do is talk about the, uh, the huge opportunity that anyone in business has at the moment when it comes to using social media to market themselves and their businesses uh, internationally. It's insane. However, I'm fully invested. Um, even I believe that I'm only scratching the surface in terms of the kinds of uh, things that I can do, um, the, the content I'm putting out there, the volume of content and the quality of content that I'm putting out there. So there are going to be tons and tons and tons of people, and I've spoken to quite a lot of them, who won't even have enough time uh, at the moment or, or putting it, be able to put as much time in as I am at the moment. So it got me to thinking about if I only had one hour a day, on social media, what would I do with it? And this is kind of where I what I come up with. Now, precursor to this, what one thing that I wanna kind of um, get very, very clear at the beginning is that we are making an assumption that you guys have a presence and have posted a few times at the very least on all the all the, the main platforms. And when I say main platforms, I'm talking Facebook, I am talking YouTube, I am talking Twitter, I am talking Instagram. I am talking LinkedIn, I am talking TikTok, which is one of my faves and one of my new ones that I'm really, really enjoying using. So if you haven't already, make sure you've got a presence on all of those and make sure you've uh, at least you know posted a few times and uh, maybe have a few followers and likes and et cetera, et cetera on each. Um, Instagram, um, which is, uh, you know, I, I post a video ages and ages and ages ago talking about how, you know, if you're starting out from scratch with, with Instagram, you know, at the very least, try to get eight to 12 posts on there because um, of, of the way that your, your profile will be shown, um, you'll be able to, that, you know, that will show that you have a, an active profile when someone just hits your, your profile for the first time. And that kind of goes for, for a few others, TikTok um, especially as well. So, so, so get on there and actually put a few hours in, um, you know, getting a presence on there. So that's like the the foundation, right? So we have an hour a day um, that we can focus on this. Now, um, this video I'm actually recording on Facebook Live. Um, some of you might be watching parts of this video on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, um, or you might be watching the full version on YouTube um, as that is, that's where the it's gonna go. Maybe even on LinkedIn. Now, Usually, you know, you, you can use, in terms of your hour, you can use, I would split the, the time into two 30 minute chunks. Number one, it's gonna be content based. Number two, number two is gonna be engagement based. So let's start with, with, with part number one. Um, and that is gonna be your content based stuff. So recording a video like this on uh, Facebook Live, you only need to maybe um, do, I don't know, four to eight minutes. Um, uh, talking about something in your niche that you're passionate about, perhaps you're ask, asking questions. Um, and to come up with ideas on this, I certainly would put a little bit of time uh, joining some Facebook groups, especially that's gonna be one of the best places to find this kind of stuff um, in your niche. So if you're a builder, maybe it's gonna be in construction, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're a property investor, some property groups, um, you know, solicitors, social media, you know, whatever it is that you do, uh, marketing, you know, join a, join a uh, you know, five or six good groups with lots of people in there, lots of people posting, and just check through certain questions um, that people are asking regularly and make a note of these. These can be the questions that you answer, you know, one by one on your, your, your Facebook Live. And you can do something very, very similar to this, get yourself a tripod, you know, stick your phone on it, and away you go, four to eight minutes, that's all it's gonna take. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you want to um, get yourself uh, downloaded the InShot, that's I N S O. S H O T I N S H O T, yeah, InShot app, um, so that you can um, use that on your phone to um, to just you know put maybe some credits at the front and back, um, and maybe put some captions on your video so that um, you know it just looks a little bit more professional. And and uh, you can download your Facebook Live, you can do a little bit of uh, creative stuff on the InShot app, and then you can download that. What, what you can then do is you can spread that content around and this is what you can use your half an hour for, okay? So you've already, you probably spent, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of that 
um, actually producing your, your Facebook Live and just getting it looking, looking half decent. Um, you wanna get that on YouTube, you wanna get that on LinkedIn, you wanna get it back on Facebook. Um, so you should probably have a personal, like page, not a profile page or business page, and then you can get that up on there as well. Um, when you upload it to Instagram and Twitter, it will automatically shorten it to a particular uh, part. Don't worry too much about like finding the best little bit. I mean, obviously, you know, don't go to town on it. See if you can find like a, a particular part that's maybe, you know, a, uh, 30 seconds to a minute long that's gonna fit on those and get, get it out there as well. Probably I would say with a link um, on Twitter, especially back to YouTube so that people can watch the full video um, and, and do the same on TikTok as well. So all the ones where it strips it down to a smaller amount, make sure you're linking it back to wherever you really, really want people to go and view that. So that might be on Facebook, it might be on YouTube, it might be on LinkedIn. Um, so link it back to the full, full, full video. Cool. So that's what we're gonna do with, our, with one half an hour of the day. The second half an hour of the day, what we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be working our hashtags and working our DM strategies. And what I mean by that is that um, across various platforms, um, and maybe it might be a case of you do, do this one half an hour each day um, per platform, i.e. Uh, Monday you do, you do uh, Instagram, Tuesday LinkedIn, Wednesday Facebook, and so on and so forth, but you take your half an hour that you're gonna do for, uh, for engagement, um, and you're gonna look up particular hashtags in your niche um, and you're going to follow them and if and when when it comes to your half an hour of engagement time each day you're going to go onto those hashtags you're going to see who's posting and you're going to write relevant comments you're going to like them and you're going to engage with those posts and the people underneath that are commenting on those posts okay what that does is it's going to pull people back to your page where they can then hopefully view your content engage with your content and follow you. Um, the people that do start then engaging with you, or perhaps even people that you're engaging with quite a lot on other people's posts, you then move on to a, what I call a, a DM or direct message strategy. Actually send them a message. Say, hey, I'm really enjoying the chat, or I liked your comment on, on such and such page. Um, you know, Really interested to find out more about what you do, okay? And you're engaging with them like that. Um, a lot of the platforms will see direct messaging as a really high quality engagement and will hopefully mean um, that they will see you as an engaged member of their community and that will help with their, with their relevant algorithms. You know, I'm not going into details on individual algorithms with different platforms. Um, I'm certainly not you know, qualified to go into that huge amount of detail just yet. Um, but, but you know, it certainly will help and it will also help you genuinely network with a lot of these people, which is going to be really, really, really helpful for you. And, um, it does mean that hopefully those people will then go and view your content on that, on that platform. And of course, once you've started engaged with them, you can say, Hey, look, um, I don't know if you checked out my page yet, but I've also got a really cool Instagram page. If you'd like DM them, DMing them on, uh, on, I don't know, LinkedIn, um, but oh, oh or I've, I've actually got a YouTube channel um, if you wanted to check it out, here's the link, um, and you can engage in that way. So basically, we have spent an hour then creating content and engaging. Um, so in order just basically to summarize that, um, 30 minutes of time, 30 minutes uh, of creating content, 30 minutes of engaging. The content creation, I would suggest if you are short of time, is to do a Facebook Live, four to eight minutes, um, tidy it up on InShot, um, download that to your phone and, and you spend the rest of the half an hour getting it out there on all, on all the relevant platforms. One thing I haven't actually mentioned is you can strip the, the audio as well and create a podcast. Right? Podcast can be massive this year, continue from last year. So that's definitely something worth thinking about as well. But you spend half an hour just getting that content, whether it's long form or short form, onto, onto as many different platforms as possible. Um, and then you spend the other half an hour um, engaging with people, uh, checking out hashtags that are relevant to your niche, commenting, engaging, uh, you know, getting involved with people, and then you spend the next half an hour, uh, sorry, the next little part, you know, direct messaging people that you're engaging with. It might be that you actually then end up doing that the following day once you see replies to your comments and all that kind of stuff. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can spend one hour a day um, across all your platforms 
um, getting as much, uh, getting uh, involved in social media as much as possible, but limiting it to one hour a day for those of us that don't have the, the time at the moment in order to do that. You will probably find, and I genuinely believe that you will, you'll probably find that as you start doing this and you start getting engagement and stuff like that, it will uh, excite you so much that you wanna put more and more time into it. Uh, but this is a really great way of just getting things going and starting things out. now. I hope you found this really, really helpful and interesting. Um, if you do want to contact me and talk about this a little bit more, you can find me across all platforms that I've just mentioned, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, I said Instagram, TikTok, yeah, the, the works, even on Snapchat as well, although I don't really use it that much. Um, so please feel free to find me, con contact me at the Sam Norris, and um, I'll be great to hear your feedback. But look, until next time, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please let me know if you do implement this strategy. Uh, I'll be great, great to, to hear how you get on. And um, I will catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.